Oh, what I want to talk, I didn't know about this at all. I just found this out in, your, in researching you today. Ooh. You were on Celebrity Apprentice Australia. I had no idea because, yes. you know, I live in England. Yes. You didn't watch it on the iPlayer? I didn't watch it. No. I, I haven't watched The Apprentice for a little... It got, if I'd known it was there and you were in it, I would have watched it. It's but. still on the iPlayer. It went out on BBC One, but it went out at the red-hot time of 11 o'clock on a Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I did. Look, here's the thing, right? I've always been very snobby. Very snobby about comedians that do reality TV shows. I've always said that anyone that does it, it's probably, career's probably a bit on the slide, you know? <laughs> yeah. Probably been a bit too snob, quite vocal about people doing. And then this thing, uh, COVID, I don't know if you've, it was in the news, <laughs> uh, that happened. And uh, they rang me and, and all the theatres in the world closed. And I got a phone calls saying, do you want to be on The Celebrity Apprentice? And I went, I've always loved business. <laughs> And then I came up with this Britain, and I was so funny, do I want to go on Celebrity Apprentice? And then uh, they said, Lord Sugar, Lord Alan Sugar is flying across to Australia, and he's going to be the... Because I thought they'd get an Australian criminal. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I've got to do that, right? And then so, um, so I said to them, I said, I, so here's my plan, right? I thought, what nobody's ever done, nobody's ever gone on like a show like The Apprentice, right? And then just... Because you're meant to come up with, like, business ideas, yeah. right? And the thing about me, I'm an ideas man, right? You are. <laughs> so I thought, why don't I go on there and come up with the most mental shit that I can possibly <laughs> think of, right? And then the viewers will piss themselves laughing for like a week, two weeks. I'll get fired and I'll go back and see my family. Here's the problem with that. I couldn't get fired. <laughs> Every time I come up with a more and more insane idea, we'd get in the in the boardroom and it's Lord Sugar, because clearly the, it was entertaining for the show. Yeah. So they, they'd go like, there was one week, right, I come up with this thing where I invented this thing called the Hamster Hotel, right? <laughs> Which was, it was a bookshelf and it was, I put Perspex on the front of it and I drilled holes in the shelves and put ladders so it was like a hamster cage, but like a hotel version of it. Yeah. And I thought, it's the hamster hotel. They don't have hamsters in Australia, right? <laughs> but I knew that. And I knew that we'd get in the boardroom and I'd go, it's the hamster hotel. And somebody would go, there's no hamsters. And sure enough, it happened. And I went, it's an international business, right? <laughs> and thinking, right? And then... Uh, <laughs> and Lord, and I thought, I'm definitely going home. And then he went, uh, so I thought about it, and, and he points at me and he goes, you're fired to somebody else. And I went, this is not, I'm the, I, it was like Brewster's Millions. I literally, <laughs> and then I got to the final, and um, <laughs> got to the final, and uh, they said to me, uh, they said, you can do anything you want. This is this. I'm not means you can check. This is on still on uh, iPlayer. I think so. You can do anything you want to raise money for the final for the big final finale. So I sat there and I, I said I had a whiteboard and I was just drawing all shit on it. I went, uh, I said I know what I'm going to do. I'm, I know I'm going to make the money. And the producer went, well, What are you going to do? I said I'm going to rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> And, and they, they were like, yeah, no, what, what are you going to do? And I went, no, I'm going to rob a bank. And on the whiteboard, right, I put, who has money, right? And it said, <laughs> banks. How do I get money from bank? <laughs> Borrow, rob. <laughs> so what I did was, and they let me do this. So I, did, I set up this thing where I thought everyone wants to experience what it's like to rob a bank. So I got a, an explosives expert, right? Big pyrotechnics. And I set up this fake bank situation. And I got stunt driver and a getaway car. <laughs> and I had zip lines. And then I had all these explosions. And then I charged uh, corporate companies to come along and experience a bank heist, okay, right? Right, right? And it was one of those things where it was like, go, 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 grab the, grab the gold, chuck them in. And then, and then I made a big fake wall and we smashed through it. And it was all... It was a good idea, right? Yeah. And the, the um, uh, woman that I was up against had a cocktail party in an auction, right? <laughs> and, um, so... <laughs> With hindsight, <laughs> probably my explosive budget could have been smaller. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the upshot was is that uh, the explosives expert that brought along, 
He looked very much like um, Stallone in Cobra. Um, you'll have to Google it, but he's very, uh, yeah. Anyway, we, we were reenacting the bank heist. Everything was going wonderfully. The, 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 the cracking the safe went well. Uh, we stopped for a moment to enjoy a ginger beer, courtesy of Fever Tree Tonics. Um, you've got to get the advertising in there. And then um, this woman went down the zip line and we set off the explosives and the, I'm just saying, <laughs> nobody on The Apprentice has ever blown a woman up before. <laughs> and she wasn't harmed, she wasn't okay. harmed, but her face looked like you summoned his sad. You know, like, it's like, <laughs> like that. And she just landed like that. And she took it, she was like, oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. She took her glasses off and she had these big white patches like that. And we, and everyone audibly, including the crew, went, oh! <laughs> and she went, have I got something on my face? <laughs> uh, um, but if you do watch it, yeah. keep an eye out because I, uh, they edited around this, they had to edit around a lot of stuff. Uh, every time, every time I walked into the boardroom, I left the um, price tag on my suits. So, and then Lord Sugar didn't know us for ages. And then he, and then he went, uh, he, he went, you've got, your, you've got your tag on your suit, like that. And I went, uh, yeah, because after the show's finished, I'll take the suit back, I'll get the money. That's just good business, right? <laughs> that, that was out. Aww. And then, um, then what else was there? Oh, there was one where we did... Uh, we did <laughs> there was one week I turned up. I turned up in the boardroom and I had... Uh, I had my trouser leg rolled up like that, and uh, I had one of those, you know those tags that people in <laughs> under house arrest? I had one of them, I got the props guys to make it for me. I had a little flashing <laughs> LED, and they shot me from the waist up that week. And then, <laughs> uh, and then you, you, weren't meant to, you weren't meant to make jokes. It really annoyed me, because in the boardroom, I was like, oh, this is brilliant. The only one that's allowed to make jokes is Lord Sugar, right? Yeah. So you have to, you know, you have to basically stand there and look like you give a shit about the job. <laughs> and it's all very serious. And sometimes I pretend to look nervous and all that. And, uh, you know, play along, put on a bit yeah. of a show and that. And uh, there was this one. And um, so you would cut, you'd sort of come up with gags and he'd say something or somebody'd say something, you go bang like that. And he'd go, ah, oh, it's going to end it up nice when right? it's gone. And you just look like a dick. It hasn't, <laughs> you know, say something, and you just go, oh, I can't think of anything funny to say, right? But the one that got edited out, which I'll tell you now, um, one of the challenges, projects, right? Just project manager on occasion, right? And so ridiculous. Uh, so one of the projects was, it was, you know that company, Budgie Smugglers? They make like Speedos, right? Yeah. And they came along, and it's a terrible, terrible product. Anyway, and they, uh, I might have said that to the CEO, but horrible. Nobody wants to see that, right? So we had to design a range of swimwear. And uh, so the, the, they say to us at the start, you know, the, the information from the Lord was, uh, oh, on the first day, they said, oh, like, because they were all going, oh, can you tell us anything about Lord Sugar? And I said, uh, I said, well, I've never met him, but he's, uh, you know, he is a Lord, so obviously you have to, um, uh, they said, well, how do you address him? And I said, well, uh, I said, he does like it when you call him sugar tits. <laughs> <laughs> and, and most of them went, oh! But there was one or two that were like, do we? And anyway, so, uh, and, and I know you've, I know you're obsessed with Lord Sugar, aren't you? Lord Sugar. But uh, anyway, he's, uh, so we're in the, so they, so they say, you have to, you have to uh, put on a fashion show for budgie smugglers, right? right? And they say, one person has to be the MC uh, for the event, and then the rest of the team have to model the swimwear, right? So I said, right, I'll MC it, right? <laughs> and then we get into the boardroom, and Lord Sugar goes, so Ross, you uh, you decided you, uh, you didn't want to wear the uh, the swimwear, you didn't want to wear the budgie smugglers, right? And he's been a bit, like, arsy with me about it. And now here's the thing, right? Yeah. On my team, right? So there's me, there was... Uh, a woman who was a fitness expert, right? She's yeah. like a celebrity green goddess type. There was uh, the Veronicas, who are identical twins. But you know the Veronicas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. was uh, both beautiful young women. Uh, uh, there was uh, 
there was uh, a, a former Hugo Boss uh, catwalk model <laughs> okay. uh, who had won two series of Survivor called The Golden God, right? Who's a chiseled fella and a former Miss Universe contestant. I said, have a wild stab in the dark. <laughs> Who you think should MC this and who should wear the budget smugglers, right? And he just went, and he wouldn't leave it. And he went, uh, he goes, was you, uh, was you a bit shy? Was you a bit shy to wear the budget smugglers? And I thought, I'm not having this, right? Because I would have, right? He, he goes, uh, was you a bit shy to uh, parade around in the budget smugglers? Was you? Like, really? And I thought, oh, well, fair enough. I just went, if it pleases you, Lord Sugar, I will put my cock and balls on this table right now, right? I said that. And they wet the rest of the... Like, the people were like... The, the red faces, people were spitting out their drinks. There was like, people were like howling, like that. And they, everyone was like, the, ca the guys on the cameras, the cameras were shaking like that. Every single producer that was behind the... You could hear the heads like, like that. And, and this, it couldn't have been more perfect. And, and Lord, Lord Sugar just, he didn't hear what I said. <laughs> and he, it, was, it was perfect. He, he went, what, because of all the laughter, he went, what did you say? I, I went, put your hand out, sweetheart. And, I, and just, and you could just see, and there was, and it, it took about 15 minutes before they went, right, okay, come on, get back in, get back in it. And if you see that episode, you'll see it in the boardroom. Everyone's face is like a little bit, just a little bit redder. And then like, you know, he's going, right, who has won the task today? And you can see people still going. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great of fun in the end, you yeah. know. And, uh, well, you yeah, know, that's, not, mo not many people uh, think of injecting their own personality into something quite as much as that, so. That's true. Yeah, yeah. it's good.